What's up, New York City? This is James Top, and I'm on Frederick Douglass Boulevard at 134th Street at the Caliber Gallery. Now, let's check out the works from the Caliber Gallery. You're now watching Graffiti NYC. Peace, New York City. How long has the gallery been here? We've been here about almost six years, um, but we've been, you know, primarily working out at different spaces over the last couple of years. And over the last two years, you know, we went into full gallery mode. Won't you tell us the mission of the gallery? Um, the gallery is really focused on black art, primarily focused on African, African American, and Caribbean artists. The goal is to create uh, a space and a series of exhibitions that are about the, uh, the artists we represent, uh, group shows that are about ideas about black art. Uh, we also do online auctions and we also attend uh, art fairs across the country. Well, if you have a message for the people of Harlem, what would it be about your gallery? I think we are a gallery that shows a very innovative artwork from local artists like Elan Cadiz to uh, global artists like Alexander Kyung, who is, uh, both of these artists are currently showing here. My simple message is, uh, this is about your culture as a black person in the United States as a black Harlemite. It's important to see art that of people that look like you, of people that really talk about black culture, whether it's issues about community, equity, family, or about migration, or about resilience, uh, or blackness. This particular exhibition is about the synergies between two different types of artists. Uh, Elan is a Harlem-based artist. Uh, she has Black and Puerto Rican roots, but she's really talking and speaking about work during the pandemic, and she's using uh, scaffolds as a protective system for the people in her community, in her life, and she's using portraiture, you know, which is drawings of people, as a way to illustrate art. So for me, it's the material itself, whether it's the paper she uses, the way she does the sketches, the intimacy about what she's working on in terms of the topic. We all can do drawings of our friends, but really, what, are, what is the story we tell about our friends? And what are we thinking about during the pandemic in particular? For me as a curator, to show that work um, it's really about storytelling and narrative in, in all kinds of forms. Alexander Kyung is an artist that I discovered maybe about uh, at an exhibition in Brooklyn, probably like five years ago. Um, what I'm interested in his work is that he has a story to tell. And the story is about African cultural tradition. One of the traditions for a lot of Africans is uh, scars, scarification marks on your face. He wants to use that as a, and he's been using it in his artwork, as a way to define migration. How do you move through space? Your scars are your passports to entry and exit in traditional culture. What now seems to be your process is his Google points on a map. The allowance of that as a way to navigate space. So for me, to contrast these two people, Elan, who is looking at space and geography in a different way using scaffolds, and Alexander, who is using facial marks as another way of defining space in society. 
the beauty of their work is that each has a distinctive style, if you want to use that word, uh, about how they work. His work is really using wood and carving into the wood and really creating a new geography. And she's, you know, drawing on paper and painting on paper and creating another geography. Both are similar in some ways. So, you know, in Thailand, the, you know, the exhibition, you know, synergies, uh, community equity, which is what Elan is looking at, and he's looking at cartography and scarification. Those things blend in some ways for this particular show. Thank you.